Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing good. So today I'm creating this look and this is basically a Pakistani Indian inspired uh, bridal makeup look and I've incorporated pinks and blues and golds and to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. First of all, I'm going to prime my eyelid and I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to use a tiny bit of it all over my eyelid. And also a little bit under my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take a black gel eyeliner and I'm going to apply it on the outer third of my eye just to, um, just so that my outer corner would be really intensified. I'm applying this with a synthetic brush. I'm going to just layer this on right now and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm also going to slightly take it down on my lower lash line from the outer corner. To blend out the black gel eyeliner, I'm using a C433 Pro Blending Fluff Brush by Crown Brushes. And I'm using this instead of my MAC 217 because I think the bristles of the C433 um, Blending Brush are slightly more harder and they kind of blend the creamier products more easily uh, rather than the 217 my MAC. I'm going to softly blend this out. I'm not going to over blend it because we really want that color to be there so that the outer corner would be intensified but still we don't want any harsh edges. Now I'm taking my uh, Fashionista eyeshadow palette and this is the palette I created myself. I've got all the golden eyeshadows in this palette and uh, the one I'm going to use right now is this one and it's called Golden Glow and it's more kind of a yellowy golden color. Um, just pack the eyeshadow onto the lid but I'm trying to keep this in the center because I'm going to leave the inner corner for the blue eyeshadow. The more layers you put on, the longer your eyeshadow will stay. And as this is a bridal or kind of evening party makeup look, you need your makeup to stay longer. I'm going to take this hot pink color right here. I've taken a little bit of product on the brush. I'm going to apply this right in the crease. and on the outer corner and to the crease from the second stack of the same palette I'm going to mix these two eyeshadows this is kind of a bright blue and then this is kind of a turquoise color so I'm going to mix a little bit of both these eyeshadows and apply it in the inner corner of my eye I'm also applying the blue on the outer corner of my eye just after the pink color and kind of blending it upwards I'm going to soften the edges and this is the um, Revlon contour shadow brush I'm using the MUA um, pretty pastels palette I love this palette for highlights as you guys must know because I've used this in so many of my other tutorials I'm going to mix these two this is kind of a yellow golden shimmer color and this is kind of an orange gold shimmer color so I'm going to mix these two and apply this under my brow bone
from the 120 eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this right at the outer corner. And slightly pink and slightly bring it down on the lower lash line from the outer corner. Next I'm taking Effect Powder by Gosh in Golden Dust and this is just um, kind of a shimmery white with gold uh, shimmer in it. And I'm going to press this onto the golden eyeshadow right in the middle of the lid. Next I'm taking MUA Intense Color Eyeliner and this is in Turquoise and I'm going to line my upper and lower lash line with this. the 219 pencil brush I'm going to take the blue eyeshadow um, that we used before and I'm going to kind of blend this out next I'm using a black coal pencil and this is um, Max Molder and I'm going to use this in my waterline I'm going to apply a little bit of black eyeshadow on the outer corner of the lower lash line and I'm taking whatever was left on the brush. I'm using Black Track by MAC to line my upper lash line. I'm also creating a point in the inner corner. using a black mascara and this is by Collection 2000 and this is the Mega Length Mascara I'm going to apply a tiny amount of it on the lower lash line Next I'm taking the uh, golden eyeshadow from the MUA Pretty Pastels palette and I'm going to apply this with a small C212 detail mini chisel brush and this is a very small little brush and this is by Crown Brushes as well and I'm going to apply this in the inner corner the lashes I'm using are by Ardell and these are in black 111 and they are kind of heavy pair of lashes with flared outer corner. I've applied the false lashes and while the glue dries I'm just going to quickly clean up under my eye. I'm using the Cura Beauty Concealer and this is one of those light reflecting um, concealers. I'm going to apply this kind of in a V shape. I'm going to set it with a little bit of powder and the one I'm using is Pressed Powder Number no. 2 by Glam Spot Cosmetics. To control my cheeks I'm using the Bronzed and Blushed Palette by e.l.f. and I'm using the bronzer.
for my blusher, I'm using the Blush by 3 palette by Sleek Makeup in Pink Sprint. And I'm going to apply this blush right here. And this is called Pink Parfait. This is kind of a dark, rosy pink. Um, and it's perfect for uh, people who have medium skin color. If you have, if you're fair, you can go for something lighter, kind of a dusky pink. But if you're medium, this will look great with this look. So I'm going to use this one. This is the Pink Parfait. This is the Pink Parfait from Pink Sprint Blush by 3 Palette by Sleek Makeup. These blushes are absolutely gorgeous. They have excellent color payoff. So I'm kind of blending this into the contour and taking it towards the back of my cheeks. I'm again using my MUA Pretty Pesos palette and I'm going to use this pink shimmery color right here and I'm going to highlight the highest points of my cheekbones. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. This is a must-have palette because this is so versatile and you can use it in so many ways. When you look at the colors, you would think, oh my god, why would I buy this palette? Where would I use these colors? But believe you me, these colors are absolutely gorgeous they work for me so perfectly I can use these for highlighters or daytime eyeshadows perfect palette to have in your kit so I'm gonna apply this right at the highest point of my cheekbone and kind of blend it out and I'm gonna use the skin toned uh, shimmery eyeshadow this is not so shimmery it's just kind of a satin frosty finish and I'm gonna use this right on the bridge of my nose On my lips, I'm using Rimmel Lip Liner and this is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner and this is in Ravish. It's just a deep pink color. On top of the lip liner, I'm using this uh, pink lipstick and this is uh, Shake, Shake Up Pink by R Rimmel and this is one of the color show off lipsticks by Rimmel. Just a light pretty and it's just a pretty pink. To finish off the look, I'm going to use this frosty white eyeshadow from the Pretty Pesos palette and I'm going to apply this right in the middle of the lips. 